diffusion on the sun is patterned and controlled by gravity, as these computer displays testify. On Earth, superconducting magnets will exert enough force to tame the raging energy of fusion. A full-scale separator mounted on a barge will soon be removing pollutants and leaving clean water behind. Someday, superconducting separators may even remove pollutants from fuels before we burn them. Fuels. Or we burn them. The low field room in the bitter magnetic laboratory at MIT. The steel capsule may look like a moonship, but it is in fact very necessary. It is made of a special metal which conducts magnetic lines of force. Even the magnetic field of the Earth is deflected around the space within the capsule. In this room, almost free from magnetic force, is a superconducting magnet which can measure the minuscule magnetic fields produced by electric currents flowing in the body. Brain waves, heartbeats, messages down the nerves can be measured more precisely than ever before. Immense magnetic fields can literally extract electricity directly from a rocket's blast. Because of the incredible temperatures, MHD will produce 50% more power than conventional techniques with virtually no air pollution. Only superconducting magnets make it feasible to draw power directly. A conducting medium flowing across magnetic field lines. And the magnetic field lines are horizontal. The flow is horizontal in the other direction and the electricity is generated in the vertical direction. There is a channel. That channel picks off the electricity in just the same way as the brushes of a generator pick off uh, the electricity that's generated by copper moving through a magnetic field. Speed, rapid transportation from one bit of world to another has been the dominant drive of 20th century man. But our holy quest for speed is bogging down. Airports are becoming saturated. Faster, bigger planes need too much land for runways. And the electricity is generated in the vertical direction. There is a channel. That channel picks off the electricity in just the same way as the brushes of a generator. The sun's enormous gravity compresses the gas plasma and heats it to incredible temperatures and atoms fuse. On Earth, we can produce fusion. 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 A full-scale reactor ten times this size couldn't generate enough power to run its own magnet. Superconductors could do the job running on flashlight batteries. Don't be fooled by commercials. The fact is, because nothing outlasts the Energizer. They keep going and going. Stop the bunny, please. And going and... Could do the job running on flashlight batteries. Ordinary magnets couldn't feasibly levitate something as big as an airplane. Only superconductors could do that.
This superconducting chassis will ultimately fly the 125th scale model magnaplane. The track is simply an aluminum trough with propulsion windings. These windings travel back and forth in meanders. The track is simply propulsion windings. These windings travel back and forth in meanders with propulsion windings. These windings travel back and forth in meanders. Effectively, the magnaplane is like the rotor of an ordinary synchronous motor, except that it travels along the track instead of turning. A clearance of 12 inches will make it possible for the magnaplane to fly at 300 miles per hour. In a partial vacuum, it will be possible to go faster than modern jet transports. Two, one, go! This is film of the first successful public demonstration of this type of electromagnetic flight. The magnaplane's first payload was our camera, so you are the first passenger on what may be the rapid transportation of the future. Superconductors carry electricity without any resistance. This new force will give us superconducting magnets that will do enormous amounts of work and do it virtually for free. Electromagnetic flight will be a full-scale reality in a decade. In the 80s, MHD will use superconductors to extract power directly from a rocket blast. This type of electromagnetic flight. The magnaplane's first payload was our camera, so you are the first passenger on what may be the rapid transportation of the future.